Boys and girls, today we are going to start talking about um, interactions among living things. We talked about this a little bit last week, but we're going to continue what we've been learning about ecosystems. So we learned about the different ecosystems, what kind of animals we see there, what kind of weather there is there. Then we talked about food chains, how we see those animals um, within those different food chains or food webs. And now we're going to talk about different interactions that those living things have. So we're going to talk about a lot of different vocabulary. Some are very familiar to you. So first, and like this image you've seen before, um, we have predators. Remember, a predator is an animal that hunts and kills other animals for food. Um, you see those all over food chains because animals, that's what they have to do to survive. So a predator hunts and kills other animals for food. Prey, of course, is the animal that is being hunted. An animal that is being hunted for food by that predator. Okay, so in um, ecosystems we have competition and um, that is where organisms are fighting for the same resource. Maybe that resource is food or water or shelter. Um, it could be lots of different things that um, you, could, you remember when we talked about food webs, some animals were eating the same animal. So they might be fighting over that. They might be fighting over the type of shelter they want. There's lots of competition that happens among organisms in uh, ecosystems. Okay, a scavenger. A scavenger, and you've probably seen these, a buzzard or something around your house. If you've ever seen an animal eating on another, uh, eating on a dead animal, that's called a scavenger. So and it, it's an important part of the ecosystem because it helps, that's how they get food and it helps to um, start that deco decomposition process of those bodies, of those animals. All right, so symbiosis is a word that we're going to say a lot this week. And that's the relationship between two living things. So it doesn't always mean a happy relationship. It just means that different organisms work together or use each other in some kind of way in an ecosystem. Now on this picture, um, you see that the alligator has this bird and the bird is actually cleaning its teeth. It's getting food for itself, but it's also helping to clean out the teeth of that alligator. So that seems to be pretty good unless that alligator closes his mouth. But we'll see that not all relationships both are being helped. So mutualism is when both organisms are benefiting, just like this hummingbird and this flower. The hummingbird is getting the nectar from the flower and the hummingbird is bringing pollen um, around to the flowers as it's moving from flower to flower. Just like the alligator and the bird that we saw, neither of these organisms are being adversely affected. It's helping both of them. Okay, but sometimes that is not working out good. So one um, relationship that's not as well is parasitism. That's when an organism lives on or in another organism and can harm it. Um, so you can see in the pictures, just like a mosquito on our skin, it's helping the mosquito, it's not helping us. Okay, so sometimes we have an organism that does benefit from another organism, but it isn't harming it while it does it. So um, maybe both sides aren't getting help, but it's not hurting the other side whenever it's, it's there. So um, these growing on this shell, it's not hurting that shell by it being there. And so... Um, again, we have our interactions and the um, benefits that either they both receive a benefit or one or the other receives a benefit. And so that's just a quick guide into that symbiotic relationships, those interactions among our organisms that we have.